like in, on your questionnaire, I happen to be looking backstage, and I see it says, uh, one thing surprising about me <laughs> is that I love heavy metal music. Tell us a little bit about that. Thank you, Patty. Hello, Washington, D.C. Yes, I think that would be a little bit surprising because I think when people look at me, they would never guess that I love to listen to heavy metal music, but believe it or not, or not I do. My favorite concert, and I'm probably gonna give away my age at this, it's when I was in high school, and it was Motley Crue, and they opened for Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> for some reason, that just lives in my memory, and it's just like on the way down here, that 24-hour drive that we had to do, I found a radio station that played nothing but heavy metal music, and two of my dancers that were driving with me, when I found the station, I went, oh my God, it was Motley Crue, and I started singing the song, and they were just like looking at me, and I said, I guess I answered my question right about the most surprising thing about me, but how many of you to this day, every time you hear ACDC back in black, do not love it? Hello. That is one song I think that everyone can get down to. Thank you, but that is the most surprising thing about me. Okay, Lakin, choose your question. You may read it to yourself, and then I'll read it to the audience and judges. Lakin's question reads, as Miss Gay America, you will be required to counsel aspiring female impersonators. How would you approach this? And again, as Miss Gay America, you will be required to counsel aspiring female impersonators. How would you approach this? Lakin Edwards. Thank you. I think the best way to approach aspiring female impersonators is to be honest with them and let them know that no matter how hard they try, there will be some times of disappointment, but if they look at them as experiences and not disappointments, then they will achieve what they truly look for. And I'm standing in front of you this week with some problems that happened to me, so I'm living proof that if you pass your problems, a few people didn't show up like they were supposed to, some of my financial backings didn't come in to key like they were supposed to. However, I prepared for a year for this to not let those problems overcome to what I'm here to achieve today. And I would tell that to aspiring female impersonators. Thank you. Contestant number 30, Lakin Edwards. Thank you, Patty. A little more information about Lakin. She comes to us from Dallas, Texas.